Jesus says to CERN, I am God alone. What you do will end in the greatest disaster. April 5th, 2015. Words from Jesus to Sister Claire, spoken by Jackie. Jesus began, I want my bride to approach me with the confidence that she will be fully received. I am not some great and terrible king in whose presence you could be executed. No, to the meek I am meek, to the fragile ever so gentle, and the fearful I embrace with open arms. But to those who are angry and cruel I am fierce. Those who deceive I catch in their own houses, and for those who are wicked I brandish the iron rod. In this way I protect my bride and give to each one their just deserts. I have labored hard and long with this generation to bring them to repentance. Even in this hour I have presented to them the science of my creation, to bring them to their senses. And yet, they persist in their obstinate unbelief to satisfy their careers in the scientific community and avoid the inevitable ridicule that comes with proclaiming my name. And so, here we are at the critical juncture in history and I must contend with those who would pretend to be God. Even as Satan longed to ascend the throne, they have longed to outdo me, or at the very least, set themselves on equal terms with me. What shall I say to this wicked generation who toys with the very building blocks of creation? Carry on, run your tests until you destroy all that I've created? No. I shall let it backfire on them, for to them I say, I am God and there is none other. Can I not withdraw the breath from your very bodies and to dust you will return? But no, this does not occur to them, for they are blinded by their ambition to prove to the whole world they are gods. I will not tolerate this insidious behavior inspired by none other than Satan himself. I will punish and rebuke such as these, lest they destroy the very ground they stand on. I am not a man that I should be mocked, nor am I deaf, blind and speechless, like the idols they adore. No, I am their creator, like it or not, accept it or not. What they are attempting to do will result in one of the greatest disasters the earth has ever known. Each shall run to their own deep dwelling, but in vain. The waters will seek them out, and they shall not escape. But you, my bride, will be with me in heaven, and we will dance and celebrate and explore the wonders I have created for you. Stand fast, my bride, you shall see the glory and salvation of your God. Do not entertain fears, rather rest in my provision for you, for I have gone to prepare a place for you, that where I am you too shall be, in the house of the Lord, yet with your own lovely palaces, where you may continue to grow in your love for me, in preparation for your reign on earth. So rest and worry not, your salvation draws nigh.